I think there's a okay. So there's there's, there's, there's two answers in, in forming in my mind. Um, curation, in a sense, the book, my book that I've just finished and spent two years writing, was an exercise in curation. But I wasn't curating it for anyone else. I was curating it for me. What did I think? What did I think? What 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 were the dots that I was joining? From, from a longitudinal perspective, you know, from, 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 from 30 years ago to now, and then also what patterns was I seeing now? Um, so I think curation then becomes an entry point. It's back to diversity, isn't it, Thierry, in that we're all different. And because we're all different, some of us really want to do it ourselves. You know, I sometimes think I'm like a three-year-old, you know, having someone help me do my shoelaces. And I'm saying, no, 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 me, 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 I'll do it. Whereas, you know, the clever way is if someone's already gone to the, the bother of curating, and, and especially if that someone is someone who's got deep, deep knowledge, then that's, a, that's an entry point. I don't see that as being a lazy way of someone else doing the thinking for someone else. It, it, it's, a, it's an offer, you know, that people can either accept or reject. Um, it, it's an entry point. It's one way of, of, of getting in there. So I, I, I don't have a problem with curation. The bigger question, the bigger question is the skills and willingness to dig deep. And, and I, think, I, think, I think the willingness comes before the skills. Uh, and, and again, another thing that I find have done in the past is, is discerning, uh, uh, this is probably unfair, you know, discerning, a big person says something, and because a big person, and by big person I mean someone who's got some sort of profile on the internet. So, you know, big person A says something, ooh, that's interesting, and, and, and it, gets, it gets taken up and passed on like the person was God Almighty. And you think, well, actually, that, that, that was an interesting thing he said, but Where's his evidence? You know, where, where is his evidence for saying that? And it's, it's I, I think one of the, apart from the willingness and the ability to dig for information, those are research skills. The, 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 I think a, a skill that I think um, the, the connected world and information overload in particular um, are skills of um, selection, understanding why in amongst all this plethora of stuff, um, I should pay attention to this article rather than that article. So whether I am explicit about it or not, I have criteria as to whether I'm going to read that or not. Once I make the decision to then filter that piece of information or that resource and give attention to it based on, as I say, either explicit or implicit criteria. The next thing is, once I start to read it, read it with a critical mind. Read it with critical facility, with a questioning open mind. So um, am I more willing? We, we all have biases. So I think, I think the skills are about, are about selection, understanding that we make our selection, understanding about critical thinking, um, understanding that we all come to things with bias. So although I think I'm a critical thinker, um, I am aware sometimes that I regard someone else's, my, my perception of someone else's knowledge and authority, um, that that maybe influences how I think about what I'm reading. You know, you know, the very thing that I'm criticising other people for is, oh, well, Thierry says that's a good, um, you know, a good resource. And I read it perhaps with a, a less questioning mind than I would normally do. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is an information overload. Um, 
I am certainly not persuaded by technology, say by Google, choosing for me what I should see. We recommend you read this, really. No. Um, so if I read what I read, then my filtering process uh, is usually about my perception of the integrity and the knowledge that I think the person has. Does, does this person have? Does this person have the right to, for, for, for me to say I, I think he knows something about this? And so if I think that, or she, you know, if I think that, then 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 I'll read something. So the filtering, the filtering is very, very skills based. It's, 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 it's understanding that we have a process for choosing what we read. And then when we start to read it, um, it's not so much about overload anymore. And I think perhaps this is even more relevant. It's how do I make sense of that information? You know, what critical reasoning do I bring to it? And I think, you know, if, if, if there's a skill that I think more widely, and I include myself in this, is developing skills of critical faculty. 